This morning's Coffee With is with Jeremy Piven. And a satellite interview. It's furnished by Warner Brothers and HBO. Jeremy, welcome to WJZ. How you doing, bud? Good. How are you, Marty? We are doing great. That's the, uh, that's the uh, audience, the, the Entourage fan club. The Vinny fan club is here in the studio with us. Nice. I got to tell you a quick story. I just did an in-studio interview with a lady named Mesa, Mesa Leek, one of America's greatest smooth jazz singers. She performs all over the world, the 10, 15,000 people at a time. She's a Baltimore girl. When she drops an album, she always starts her tour off with me doing an interview on this TV station. We punched up the satellite awesome. interview about 20 minutes ago, the, the, the satellite channel. She looks over, she goes, oh my God, it's Ari Gold. Dude, you want to talk about impact. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, when you when you do a series and you're in people's living rooms for eight years, people people get used to they get used to you. And here I am. Talk about time. Here I am just finishing four years of Mr. Selfridge. And that's 12 straight years of television. Now, in the UK, I'm Mr. Selfridge first. So it's so interesting. Yeah, there is that impact. And the reality is the movie is like watching three seasons in two hours. So it's gonna, I, I think it's gonna really have an impact. It, how, how great does it make you and the ensemble, maybe you talk about it, feel that, you're, that your fans were so devoted that the, the, the constant clamoring for, you gotta give us more entourage, was always background noise from the day you signed the series off to now. It's gotta make you feel great. It does, you know, we, um, you never want to stay at the party too long, and eight years is a long time. So we got lucky. The show didn't get stale. We ended on a high note. People want more, and now we're going to give it to them, which is great. Is it really going to be this, uh, uh, like three seasons and two hours? The premise is you're now a studio head. You give Vinny movie $100 million to direct a movie. He's always wanted to direct. And needless to say, he goes over budget, and the whole thing starts coming apart. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how Doug did it, um, but each character has its its own storyline and arc, and it's satisfying. There are payoffs that you've been waiting the entire series for, and then, you know, we begged and pleaded with the Golden Globes to let us shoot the ending there, and they let us. So, you know, true to Entourage form, we got away with murder, and we're just lucky. I was in the tabloids, tabloids on TMZ uh, the two days ago, the story about how you got Tom Brady in the movie. It was supposed to be Eli Manning? <laughs> you know, that's a Doug Ellen call. Um, I know that Mark Wahlberg is, is, is a boss, you know, he's, he's, he's a New England Patriots fan. I know Doug Ellen is a Giants fan. Um, I don't know the exact story, to be honest with you. I wish I could tell you. You're staying out of it. Come on, you're holding back. No, no, I wish I knew. I, I wish I could give you the dirt. Um, listen, I don't know Eli. I've been lucky enough to meet Tom Brady. He's one of the nicest people on the planet. Um, he's living the dream. He always has. There's a reason why Tom Brady is Tom Brady. He's the kind of guy that looks you in the eyes, and, he, and he's, he's just kind of a very humble guy. Listen, offensive lines want to block for that guy. You know, they want to kill for him, and that's a huge variable. I, I love, it's like we're on the NFL Network channel right now. I don't know why I'm going on about this, but he's successful for a reason. Let's you, just say that. You know what? And we're, we're lucky enough to have him in the movie. Well, we're going on about it because of that, because people want to be, I don't care. You could be John Doe, you could be Tom Brady. Hey, would you do a guest shot in Entourage? Heck yeah, I'm there. What a compliment to you, and I keep bringing <laughs> up the ensemble, because it's an ensemble. It's not any one of you individually. Yeah. And that's what's so cool about it. It, it is not. Listen, all those characters are so well portrayed and written, and those guys really exist, and and uh, people love the ride. There's so many cameos. And there are guys like, you know, Clay Matthews that I ran into at the Super Bowl, and he said, I'd love to be in the movie. I pass that message along. He's in the movie. And that's the, that's the way it works. It's just been really fun in that way. Cool. Well, listen, good luck. Have a great time with all the press you're doing and the, and the premiere on June 3rd. And I hope you have a great summer. As we say in Baltimore, you're a right guy. It's been a pleasure having you on. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Thanks, Marty. We'll see you later, man. Bye-bye. Entourage. Dream large, live larger. I'm ready. It's kind of like the story of Eyewitness News. Thanks, Steve. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, my goodness. We'll be right back with traffic and, uh, and weather. It's WJZ.